Hi, I'm Donna with Armadillo Pepper TV, and today I'm going to make cedar plank salmon with a maple rum glaze. This is another really easy recipe. We're just going to brine the salmon overnight, season them a little, and then get them on the grill. I've got two nice salmon fillets here for a total of about three pounds. They've been in my brine overnight. This is a really simple brine. It's about a gallon of water, some kosher salt, brown sugar, and maple syrup. I'm gonna take these inside and rinse them off and get them ready for the grill. I'm just gonna lightly season these fillets with some running wild honey barbecue rub. And the honey in this pairs really well with the maple syrup we're going to glaze the salmon with. For the glaze, I'm going to use equal parts of maple syrup and black spiced rum. I've had my cedar planks soaking in water for about three hours now. I use these glasses to uh, weigh them down because wood floats. I'm just going to set these on the hot side of the grill to kill any bugs that might be living on them or whatever. We're just going to let them heat up for about three or four minutes. Okay, it's time to get these on the grill. I've got my planks ready. We're going to cook them over indirect heat. The two end burners are on and the middle one is off. And it'll be about 350 degrees. It's been eight minutes. We're gonna put our first layer of maple rum glaze on the salmon. Okay, it's time to hit these with the maple rum glaze again. It's been another eight minutes and these are starting to smell really good. I can smell a little bit of the cedar, some of the rum and the maple syrup. Can't wait to try these. Okay, this salmon's ready. Let's get it off the grill. It would really suck if I dropped these right now. Just to recap what we've done, I brined the salmon overnight to keep them moist, then lightly seasoned with our honey barbecue rub. We cooked on the cedar planks over indirect heat. This took just a little over 30 minutes. I glazed the salmon three times, about eight minutes apart. Time to give this a try. It is incredible, incredibly tender and juicy. It's got a subtle maple flavor. This is one of my favorite ways to cook salmon. Thanks for watching another episode of Armadillo Pepper TV. Please hit that subscribe button and leave me a comment.